Football, softball, baseball, soccer, just another week of action here in Siouxland and another typical week for the ABC9 Top Plays. As always, these are made by local athletes for local viewers. We kick things off at the GPAC Baseball Tournament. Mo Hancock's Jr. must be friends with Bugs Bunny because he found MJ's secret stuff. First, in the opener against Midland, Bunt, psych, dinger, three run shot to left. Then the next day against Northwestern, this might be the farthest home run I've ever seen at Bishop Mueller Field. All the way to the top of the hill out there in left. What an absolute bomb. For play number four, we continue with the conference tournaments. NSIC softball action and Wayne State's Jordan King absolutely smokes one. In the words of Crash Davis, anything hit that far ought to have a stewardess on it. No free stakes for everybody. It doesn't hit the bull. But again, what an absolute shot. No word yet on if it's still traveling. From the diamond to the pitch, play number three takes us to Healing for the Crusaders and SBL. The Warriors' Devin Zimmerman working hard for the ball, eventually gets a chance to head it home for a goal. This is a kid who played defense most of his career, now getting a chance to score some goals and taking advantage of it. Play number two, we stay on the pitch, East hosting SBL. This time it's East getting in the action, and Ulysses Ochoa, I'd say he had his Wheaties for breakfast. An absolute rocket off the foot to the back of the net, or in the words of famous announcer Martin Tyler, like a thunderbolt from the hand of Zeus, an absolutely magisterial strike. East went on to win it 2-0 as well. Play number one takes us from football to football. The Bandits hosting Wichita on Friday night. Force line up for a field goal, but big Darius Davis has other plans. He gets a trash can lid on it. Marcus Miles is there to scoop it up and house it. That's six foot four, 265 pounds of man rumbling into the end zone. No big man touchdown dance, but it's still good enough for the ABC9 top play of the week. A few weeks ago, Iowa fans in Sioux Lane got a treat when Chuck Long was in town at the Sir Thomas Sports Banquet. Tonight, more current Hawkeyes were in Sioux City for the iClub Banquet. This year, basketball coach Fran McCaffrey and wrestling coach Tom Brands were the headliners here at the convention center. Both men, men of course, have some history in Sioux Lane. Brands and his twin brother Terry, the associate wrestling coach, are both from Sheldon. McCaffrey spent a lot of time here a few years back recruiting East Adam Woodbury and South Sioux's Mike Gazelle. Both Brands and McCaffrey happy to be back. Sioux City and Okaboji are the two events in the iClub circuit that uh, we like. Black Dirt, Northwest Iowa, on the Missouri River, it doesn't get any better than that. It's always great to come here. I spent a lot of time here right when I got hired because I wanted to get both of those guys to come play for me. And, you know, I spent a lot of time getting to know their coaches and their families. and. Uh, Obviously, have gotten to know them even better since they came. And believe it or not, Mike and Woody going to be seniors this upcoming season. Some more D1 basketball news. Tyler Borchers of Lamar's will now continue his career at the University of South Dakota. His family confirmed to ABC9 Sports tonight. Borchers had been committed to Morningside, but a strong finish to his senior season put him on the Coyotes' radar. Now Borchers will head to Vermillion without a scholarship for the time being, but he will have the potential to earn one. Congratulations to Tyler. For the second straight year, Siouxland is sending somebody to the NFL. Last year, it was George Little Rock alum Tyler Starr going to the Atlanta Falcons. This year, it's Brandon Weger heading to their divisional rival, Carolina Panthers. While he wasn't drafted over the weekend, Weger announced today that he'd agreed to a three-year deal with the Panthers. Former Healan, Iowa, and Morningside back will head to Charlotte on Thursday to officially sign with the team and begin off-season workouts. Carolina does have five other running backs on their roster right now, but Weger says he's excited for the opportunity and ready to start this next challenge. I was getting ready to go to my workout this morning, and uh, my agent called me and said uh, the Panthers wanted to sign me. And then I spoke with them, and uh, it was all down from there. Carolina's a great team. they got a, a great program. Great club, and I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of it. I see myself being able to fit in. I mean, it's going to be great getting with those veterans and, and learning the system of the NFL and learning the system of the Panthers. I can't wait. This is a dream come true for me. I mean, my whole life I wanted to play in the NFL, and it's finally here, and now I just have to make the most of my opportunities. 
Best of luck to Brandon as he heads to Carolina. Finally, East alum Dom Thompson Williams committed to continue his baseball career at South Carolina. Spent the last two years at Iowa Western, where he helped the Reavers win the national championship in 13, joining a team that uh, has won a couple of national titles back to back in 2010 and 11.